Hello, I'm Rancho Palos Verdes City Manager Art Moranian with an update from the July 16th City Council meeting. The City of Rancho Palos Verdes continues to address the ground movement due to landslide on Palos Verdes Drive South. After considering various options, the City Council approved staff's recommendations to continue regular asphalt repairs to the road between Narcissa Drive and Pepper Tree Drive. The City is spending more than a million dollars a year to repair Palos Verdes Drive South within the landslide complex. Approximately 15,000 vehicles use Palos Verdes Drive South daily. In June, the Council instituted a temporary six-month ban for motorcycles and bicycles due to the unsafe conditions of the road. Meanwhile, the City Council adopted a resolution to set the Landscaping and Maintenance District Levy for fiscal year 2024-25 to zero. The Council's decision to waive the fees will provide relief for residents at a time when prices in various areas continue to rise. The City's Landscape and Maintenance District provides funding for the ongoing operation and maintenance of landscaping, street trees, sidewalks, street lights, and traffic signals. In other action, the City Council agreed to co-host the annual Run for Miles race. The event will take place this year on September 28, 2024. The 5K-10K Family Run is paid for by the Run for Miles organization, and all proceeds from this event will be donated to the City of Rancho Palos Verdes for the purpose of parks and trail preservation. Last year, the event raised $35,000, and the event was created in memory of former RPV resident Miles Helm, an avid runner who loved trail running in the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. The city of Rancho Palos Verdes is pleased to welcome new Deputy City Manager Catherine June, who officially joined the city staff on July 8th. Ms. June comes to RPV from Huntington Beach, where she served as Deputy City Manager. She's an experienced public administrator with 14 years in local government and communications, and her skills will be an asset to the city and community. For more information on all the news and issues before the City Council, watch the meetings on RPV TV or the city's website at rpvca.gov. Let's stay connected and remember, we are RPV together.